this video, 1200 mg of this molecule reduce the risk of needing dialysis by 62%. In a different study, it has also been used to kickstart the kidneys of 9 dialysis patients back to life. They walk away from their machines. Then, Big Pharma made it disappear. Here's how to get it anyway. Catherine here, I'm a doctor of natural medicine and today I want to ask you a question. Are you taking steps to protect your kidneys from oxidative stress? Well, if you do not know the answer to this question right now, as you're watching this, free radicals are probably conducting a scorched earth campaign inside your kidneys. Every second you ignore oxidative stress, another nephron dies. Oxidative stress isn't just hurting your kidneys, it's executing them cell by cell. And the medical system, they're watching it happen like it's a Netflix show. But what makes me rage is that we have the weapons to win this war and they're sitting on pharmacy shelves gathering dust. Science has proven that antioxidant therapy doesn't just slow kidney disease, it can reverse it, any stage, any age. Yet, most CKD patients are so antioxidant starved that their kidneys look like Chernobyl after the meltdown. Today, everything changes. I'm revealing the 7 most powerful antioxidant molecules that could be the difference between freedom and spending your retirement fund on dialysis. Before we start, don't forget to share this video with anyone whose kidneys need a fighting chance. So question, what are the 7 most powerful antioxidants to protect the kidneys? Well, our number 7 for today is a prescription antioxidant, a miracle drug from the 70s that improves kidney function by 27%. And the study that proved this, it was published in August of 2025, not in the 70s. And it's relevant today because while everyone's obsessing over vitamin C, there is a prescription antioxidant that's so powerful, it just made medical history. Please take a look at the study on screen right now. This antioxidant has been shown to improve kidney function by 27% in a large trial conducted on CKD patients. Yes, we are talking 27% more kidney function in just a few months. And I mean, for some patients, that's the difference between dialysis in 6 months and dialysis in 6 years. The drug they use in this trial is called pentoxifilin. But of course, try mentioning pentoxifilin to your nephrologist and the best you'll get is a polite, bless you. So yeah, here's the disgusting truth about why you can't get this kidney saver drug. Pentoxifilin's patent expired in the 1970s, same era as bell bottoms and disco. Bell bottoms came back, disco came back. This life-saving drug still collecting dust. Why? Because nobody can charge you $500 a pill for it. No profit means no prescriptions even if it could save your kidneys. That's the sad reality of the world we live in. But here's where Big Pharma accidentally handed us a gift. Here is some good news. Because the only way they can pay that old stuff again and make money on it is by adding something else to it, alright? If you do that, you can call it a new formulation and charge $500 for it. So in the trial I just showed you, they also tested the second antioxidant, a vitamin. Let's talk about it because this vitamin is going to be our number 6 for today. Now guys, this study was just published in the latest edition of the BMC Nephrology. And I mean, the BMC Nephrology is probably my favorite nighttime read. Reading statistical analysis of kidney failure rates is better than ambient, honestly. But I didn't fall asleep reading this study. 
In this paper, they were trying to find a way to create a new pentoxifilin formulation for improving GFR in CKD patients. However, it didn't work very well for them. Here's why. As you can see, this was a very rigorous trial. They had 80 patients and divided them into four groups. A control group that received nothing. These 20 patients didn't improve. But we have three more groups as we can see. 20 patients who received both the drug pentoxifilin and the antioxidant vitamin. 20 patients who receive only the pentoxifilin and both these groups improved over the six months and it was a very significant improvement as we have seen and here is the incredible part the group of 20 patients who only received the antioxidant vitamin they improved even more with just a vitamin supplement I mean, a vitamin beat a prescription drug. Can you imagine it? Somewhere a pharmaceutical executive just choked on their caviar. <clears throat> so while you cannot get pentoxifilin right now, make sure you are getting enough of this vitamin every day. Folic acid or vitamin B9. And now the question is, what foods are the best sources for this kidney saving vitamin? Folic acid? Some of the best sources include dark leafy greens such as spinach, kale, colored greens. Leafy greens have also been associated with a host of health benefits including reduced inflammation, better immune function, better gut health and more. Also consider amla or Indian gooseberry. This fruit is also an amazing source of many antioxidants including folic acid. Another food you want to consider is asparagus. It contains a concentrated amount of many vitamins and minerals, including folic acid. Asparagus is also rich in antioxidants and has been shown to have anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, and diuretic properties. Fruits such as citrus fruits and bananas are also very rich in folic acid, but I don't know if you have noticed, most of these fruits and veggies are high in potassium. So not everyone is going to be able to eat them. The solution? Make sure you are supplementing folic acid in the dose you see on screen right now every day. And folate isn't even the most powerful antioxidant I will show you today. Far from it. But putting together a diet with all the antioxidants and vitamins you need, but without anything dangerous, may seem a daunting task. Well, that's what I do for a living. If you want to get results now, I can help. I offer personalized one-on-one -on -one consultations where we'll craft a custom renal diet and supplement plan just for you. So if you are interested in working directly with me, email me at katherine at newhopeforkidneypatients.com or just click the link in the description below. Spots are limited, so don't wait too long. I'd love to help you. Okay, let's see our number five for today. This is a vitamin with antioxidant properties so powerful, it reversed diabetic kidney disease in 59 patients. Yes, this vitamin is so effective against oxidative damage, it was used on 59 diabetic kidney disease patients in stage three of CKD to reverse the progression of the disease. What they use here is vitamin E in fairly high doses because here's the thing vitamin e is an extremely powerful antioxidant a huge study just linked higher plasma vitamin e levels to lower risk for proteinuria development in ckd patients yes vitamin e is amazing however always supplement it at the low dose you see here on screen right now you don't want to take a regular vitamin E supplement like those they sell on Amazon for the general population. Most vitamin E supplements are dosed so high they can actually put you at risk for toxicity or worse. Instead, focus on getting more of this vitamin from foods. 
There is one incredibly underrated food you should include in your diet to get more of this vitamin. Sunflower seeds. Just one ounce of these seeds contain up to the 66% of your DV for vitamin E. An amazing way to make sure you are never deficient in this vitamin. And guys, if eating seeds daily doesn't sound like something you would do, find a renal multivitamin that contains just enough vitamin E to help your kidneys without causing any danger now something else that should always be present in a formulation made for sickly patients is our number four for today vitamin c now vitamin c boasts a myriad of health benefits it helps with blood pressure it's a detoxifier helps with iron absorption wound healing immune health and well a lot more and here is the thing, vitamin C is not just vitamin, it's also one of the most powerful antioxidants and that's not even the most remarkable property of this molecule. So yes, so many people are taking vitamin C all wrong, let me explain. Vitamin C is what I consider an antioxidant bioenhancer. Taking vitamin C with other antioxidants will make your body absorb more of these antioxidants even five times more. For example, if you add a splash of lemon which is rich in vitamin C to your green tea, you can increase the absorption of catechins by more than five times as we can see. And vitamin C doesn't just improve catechins from green tea absorption. The same could be said for quercetin, anthocyanins in general, beta carotene, lycopene, vitamin E and more. So since these are present in many foods, a good strategy will be to include lemon or other citrus fruits with each meal. Remember that you don't need a lot of vitamin C to get the job done. Just a few milligrams. And yet, so many people are still taking a mega dose of vitamin C first thing in the morning. And that's just a bad habit. Because here's the thing. More is not always better when it comes to antioxidants and vitamins. Just like for supplements in general, you are not always going to get a better result by increasing the dose. I know that this may sound counterintuitive, especially because most vitamin supplements are marketed in super high mega doses, promising faster and better results. Let's take vitamin C as an example. If you are shopping for a vitamin C supplement on Amazon, you are probably going to think that 1000 milligrams of vitamin C is a standard dose. Finding supplements in a dose lower than that means probably buying kids vitamin gummies. But here is the thing. If you have CKD, taking a thousand milligrams of vitamin C per day will put you at risk for kidney stones. And it's not just that. You think that at least you are putting a significant dent in all that oxidative stress with this mega dose of vitamin C, right? Wrong. As you can see, both vitamin C and vitamin E have been shown to have pro-oxidant effects if you take them in too high doses. So these dumb supplements they sell on Amazon and many other places won't just put you at risk for kidney stones, they will also increase the oxidative stress that's damaging the kidneys. Guys, be very careful with the supplements you take. These brands don't care about you. They don't care if their supplement is safe or not. They only care about one thing. And the reason why I'm telling you this is because when it comes to antioxidants, having several different antioxidants in small doses always beats one single mega dose antioxidant. So the takeaway here is that you want all the antioxidants I've mentioned today in small doses every day, including the top three best antioxidants of today's video. So what are the three most powerful antioxidants you can find? Well, our number three for today is probably one of the most underrated nutrients in your diet. This is not just an antioxidant, but also a regulator of energy, a way to control your blood sugar and a powerful uremic toxin cleanser. Let's talk about zinc. Zinc plays a central role in immune function, tissue repair, blood sugar balance, and even cell membrane stability. But here's why this mineral really matters. Zinc has been directly linked to delaying the progression of chronic kidney disease in people with diabetes. And I don't have to tell you how incredible that is. I mean, a single mineral that delays CKD progression alone, incredible. So the question is, how do we get more zinc in our diet? 
Well, as you can see, there are many foods that you can add to your diet to get more of this powerful antioxidant. Seeds, hemp seeds in particular, are the heavyweight champion of zinc, but nuts, cashews in particular, are a closed second. But guys, I believe many people are going to get much more zinc from their oatmeal than any of these foods. Now, if you are considering a zinc supplement, which you probably should, make sure your zinc supplement also includes copper. Why? Because too much zinc can deplete your copper levels and that's the last thing you want. Copper deficiency can cause anemia, which would rapidly undo any health benefit from zinc. Okay guys, let's see our number two. Let's talk about an antioxidant that's so powerful it was able to cut the chance of CKD patients of ending up in dialysis in half. In this study, a huge number of participants, 7,668 patients with CKD stage 3 to 5, were examined. About half of them received this antioxidant in a high dose. The result, as I was saying, is incredible. They cut their chance of ending up in dialysis by half. If we look at this table, some of the test subjects were able to literally double their GFR in the span of six months. Actually, they more than doubled it. I mean, from GFR 14 to 33. Isn't that incredible? Now, not all the participants had this result. This antioxidant seems to be more effective in patients who do not have diabetes. But what is this incredibly powerful molecule and how should you take it? Well, this antioxidant is NAC. And while I believe that many of you already knew about the potential of this molecule, you probably didn't know it was even possible to get this kind of results. And you see, to achieve this improvement, patients were administered a pretty high dose of NAC every day. This is double what is usually recommended. In other studies, a dose even higher was used in dialysis patients to improve their residual kidney function. So yeah, NAC may seem the exception to the rule here, an antioxidant that still works and that's still safe even at high doses. But now the question is, what can be even better than that? Well, our number one for today was actually used not just to improve kidney function in CKD patients, but also to get some dialysis patients out of dialysis for good. Well guys, there is only one antioxidant that was used to get multiple dialysis patients to stop dialysis, CoQ10. This antioxidant is incredibly powerful and it was used in combination with selenium to achieve a huge decrease in creatinine levels from 9.5 to 6.7 mg per DL in a study on several dialysis patients. Now guys, the way I recommend taking CoQ10 is with selenium. These two antioxidants have synergistic properties and they boost each other's absorption. And well, you can only find these two together in a renal multivitamin in my Rena Best. Yes, that's why I consider it the best renal multivitamin. And guys, if you want to learn more about the most effective ways of protecting your kidneys, my video up here is for you. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless you all. Bye.